Hey yo, what's up everybody? Holmes here and welcome to my Demon's Souls walkthrough. Real walkthrough, not a playthrough with my dex build. And yeah, uh, here we're gonna make a new character. Uh, just select your name. Um, class, I'm gonna be Thief class. And the gift that we're gonna get is Firebomb. Because uh, that's gonna make our first location a lot easier. I already got a character set up, so I just want to change the hairstyle so I can make it look a little bit different. Because uh, as of now, November 17th of 2020, you cannot delete characters. So, yeah, uh, hopefully that uh, they'll change that or update that so you can delete uh, characters that you don't want or fucked up on. Anyways, uh, let's jump into the world of Demon Souls. King Alant the Twelfth, by channeling the power of souls, brought unprecedented prosperity to his northern kingdom of Boletaria. That is, until the colorless deep fog swept across the land. Boletaria was cut off from the outside world, and those who dared penetrate the deep fog never returned. But Valifax of the royal twin fangs broke free from the fog and told the world of Boletaria's plight. But the old King Alant had roused the old one, the great beast below the Nexus, from its eternal slumber. And that a colorless fog had swept in, unleashing terrible demons. The demons hunt down men and claim their souls. Those who lose their souls lose also their minds. The mad attack the sane and chaos reigns. Valifax also spoke of the enticing power of the demon souls. Each time a demon claims a human soul, the demon's own soul is invigorated by the life force. And the power of a mature demon soul is beyond human imagination. The legend spread quickly. Mighty warriors lured by the possibilities braved the fissure to breach the accursed land. But none have returned. The awe of the twin fangs. Yet the silent chief. Saint Urbane. Skurva the Wanderer. The sick Saint Astria with her night gal vineyard. And Sage Freak the Visionary. The colorless deep fog slowly creeps beyond Boletaria's borders. Humankind faces a slow and steady extinction. The deep fog will eventually swallow all lands near and far. But Boletaria has one final hope. A lone warrior who has braved the baneful fog. Oh, has the land found its savior? Or have the demons found a new slave? Brave soul who fears not death. I shall guide you to the fissure. So that you may lull the old one back to slumber. All right. Man, I still can't. Still can't get over how beautiful this game is. Uh, this first guy will not attack you. Uh, this is just for you to practice. Like if you're looking at the messages on the ground, it'll tell you like what to do and whatnot. So the first one is just for us to attack. Uh, second guy here, however, will attack, but you can't just stun lock the crap out of him just with your pure R1 attack. Next up, there's two guys here. Um, you can circle around them for backstab. It's very easy to pull off backstabs with Demon Souls. 
uh, compared to other ones like something like Dark Souls 2. That's when they start like learning about the backstabs, I think. Up here, another guy. I'm not sure if you can um, parry their jump attacks. And speaking of jumping attacks, there is no jumping attacks or jumping or dropping attacks in Demon Souls. Alright, I just want to throw that out there because um, I think that was the jumping with uh, the jumping and dropping attack mechanics are barely introduced in Dark Souls One, I believe. So in Demon Souls, they're keeping this like pretty classic. So this vaulting over this that platform thing, uh, it's pretty much like a one-time deal kind of there's a few few more locations where you can do that but you cannot just do it wherever you want okay so yeah um, that's the deal about that whole leaping over the wall thing uh, later on like you can climb up like stuff that looks like this but right now you know you can't because uh, that's not one of the locations you can do that uh, but later on, I'll show you guys uh, those hidden stuff that you can climb over. And let's go ahead and uh, give this guy a parry tr shot. I mean, you can you can try uh, parrying these guys. Okay. If you guys get hurt, you can just use the arch stone and warp to the next location. M make sure you don't just save your heals for now. All right. Since I think we only got chipped once. Look, our HP is like a little bit damaged, but once we warp. It'll all be good. It's kind of like a bonfire in a sense, but not really. Because you can only walk away. And there's no, like, checkpoints in, in Demon Souls. Uh, <laughs> yeah, there's only one archstone in the beginning, like, of, e of every level. And then you go through a level, you fight the boss. After you beat the boss, that's where the next archstone appears. But, however, there are, like, few shortcuts you can unlock. So you're not, like, completely stuck in the beginning and have to rerun the whole thing. God damn, can you even parry this blue knight? Uh, good thing it doesn't hit too freaking hard. There we go. Yeah, this one will combo you. Uh, you can try backstabbing this guy if you want. You can circle around him. This one, however, you can... I don't think you can backstab because he is just... You can just whack him to death if you don't want to parry him. Or if your parry is not up to par, you can just R1 spam the crap out of him. Uh, but that one only, like... The second blue eye knight, it's weird because he only swings, like once and then he goes behind the shield and he like he's locked onto you real hard so i don't know i tried backstabbing him before but it doesn't work like he just keeps facing you and then he'll swing at you once and then like get back behind the shield i don't know <laughs> i mean if you can get a backstab on him i'd be impressed uh right here there's gonna be two more guys uh soldiers let's get parry you and I really like the way they animated a unique parry system and a backstab system. Damn it. Alright, we got him. <laughs> yeah, that that's like the whole like animation when you land a parry like that and you stab a guy twice and you cut him like that. That's completely new to the remake. Uh, in the original one, you just parry and then you stab him. And then I think you slam them, or you just stab them, and that's that's over. It's over. That's it. <laughs> uh, and this one, it's uh, they have like all these cool animations for it. Anyways, uh, next up, we're gonna be taking on the tutorial boss. If you beat this guy, you'll get a nice little reward. It's not like game breaking or game changing, so don't worry about it if you don't beat him. Uh, but it's just like a, a sense of accomplishment, I guess, if you do beat him. I don't even think you get a trophy for him. Uh, so the best way to deal with this guy is just try to stay behind his, uh, around his ass area. And you hit him in the tail, and whenever he turns around, just, you know, get back behind him and then whack him a little bit more. If he does that, like, flying attack, where he flies to sit down, just make sure when he slams down, you're not directly behind him, because then you're going to take some damage. And for us, I think it'll take away, like, about half of my HP if it connects directly. The axe swing that he does, if it hits me, there's a good chance I can die. So, and I'm not sure if shields will actually work. Um, I think it'll clip through your shield and break your stamina, so I don't know if you guys are willing to do that. 
Uh, maybe like a knight shield will block it and just break stamina. I'm not exactly sure, so you know, don't hold me to that. Uh, my tactic for this guy is just always to two-hand your weapon, stay stay on his ass, and just beat him up. Like I said, if you guys don't beat this guy, don't get too discouraged because you'll have a you have a chance to rematch him, sort of, like uh, in another world. So yeah, it's just I mean, if you beat him here and then you beat him and in, in the other world, you'll just get two of his souls. But if you die here and then you kill him in the other world, you just get one. Which I don't think it matters to- Oh shit, matters too much. Alright, we're gonna get out of the corner. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, I heard people saying that uh, <laughs> they're, they're trying to beat him and then each time they die they start another character and then like by the- I don't even know how many characters you can create at this point because you can't delete them so and I- this is only my third character so. I don't know how many you can have up in one account. So if you guys, like for anyone that hit max limit on character creation, post it in the comment section. I would like to know how many you can create. I think in the original Demon Souls, it can create up to 8 I think? But yeah, uh, if this guy ends up like cornering you and he's facing you, uh, just make sure you dodge towards the direction he's swinging from. So that's your best way of like avoiding getting whacked. Uh, if you're desperate enough, I guess you can try using a shield, but uh, I don't know. I'm iffy about using a shield against this guy. And also another thing, another key thing about this fight is don't lock on because it's going to make you uh, make you moving around a lot difficult. Like your character might roll the wrong way. So highly recommend you just not lock on for this fight. And just stay behind his butt, and he is almost dead. Bye. And yeah, that's how you take down the tutorial boss, Vanguard Demon. Ta-da! Demon vanquished. All right. And get his soul, and you hit up this archstone to warp to, I guess, the bonus slash secret area. Uh, whoops, there's a helmet here you can grab. And if you look up, you can see one of the final bosses for, for a world. Because there's going to be total five worlds. Uh, that's one of the final bosses right here. This is going to be the dragon god. You cannot take him on here. He's just here to, for show, I guess, and he's also like the poster boy for Demon's Souls. Uh, I think it's like him and the, the Crimson Drake, it's like... When you see that, it's pretty, and you see the knight there, it's most likely Demon's Souls. Uh, so yeah, you, the stuff you get here is not... It's not too crazy, you get some healing items and you get some souls, and that's pretty much it. So... Yeah, uh, and a little bit of upgrade stones, but we're not even going to use any of those. So if you do get wrecked, don't don't feel too discouraged because you're not missing out much. And yeah, that's pretty much going to wrap it up for this video. So I thank you all so very much for watching. Hopefully this video has been entertaining or helpful or enjoyable. And if you all found at least one of those qualities to be in this video, then hey, stay tuned for more. But until next time, I'll catch you all later. Homes. Out.
holds together the northern land of Boletaria. Thou canst not quit the Nexus, but the five Archstones will guide thee to the outer lands. <laughs>